Good morning everyone, David here. I got my fresh cup of coffee here with me and today we're gonna do an in-depth review of the Plantronics or Poly 7225 um, dual speaker headphone slash headset. It does not have a uh, microphone boom. So in this video, we're going to test to see how well this microphone does compared to a, a headset that does have a microphone boom. So hang tight and let's dive into the review right now. Okay, so let's see what's inside the box here. There's just a couple manuals, instructions in there. Me personally, I don't use those, but they are there for you in case you need it. So it has this neoprene case here, which is always nice for when you're traveling or just want to store it and keep your headset protected. All right, so here it is. So this is more of a headphone than it is a headset because it does not have a microphone boom coming off. It has a standard uh, Plantronics uh, look to it. Looks like it has uh, leather ear cushions here. Has some controls on the side of the earpiece here. And then it does not have um, a inline controller, meaning you cannot uh, adjust the volume from the controller here, but rather you control it from the headset itself. So that is actually a, a benefit because um, sometimes on the controller, you're having to click um, randomly on the cable. And if you're far away from your computer, uh, getting access to those controls may be inconvenient. So here it's just right on your head and you'll be able to push a button uh, very quickly here. So a little bit about the 7225. Uh, it comes in uh, two colors, uh, black and white, and it also has uh, two ways that you can connect it to your computer, either USB-A like you see here, or the new standard, which is USB-C. So it's available in two options. Um, you have to order the specific uh, model number. And if you're curious about what model um, that you need to find uh, as far as the part number, give our team a call, um, headsetadvisor.com. We have live chat on there. We'll put it up on the screen as well or in the comments. And uh, we will gladly give you the part number that you need for this particular headset. So you can get the color and also the connection type because it does get a little confusing because there's a lot of different model numbers. Let me just put this stuff to the side here. So this headset, the 7225 is designed for someone who's uh, likely working from home and likes to listen to music. So if you're somebody like me that likes to snack a lot, I can put this headset on and I can eat my snacks without a microphone boom getting in the way, yet it still has the microphone uh, built into the earpiece, so it's going to still be good for calls. And we're gonna be doing a, uh, a test, an audio test, to see how well that microphone works and how well it blocks out background noise, as well as compare it to um, a headset that has a uh, microphone boom. So we'll see that later in this video. This headset also has active noise cancellation, which um, the best way to describe it is when you're wearing the headset and you turn the feature on, it helps electronically remove that unwanted background noise around you. And this is just for what you hear, not for what uh, your callers or whoever's on the other end of the line hears. Um, so if you're in a noisy office environment, um, it's going to electronically remove that unwanted background noise so you can hear the callers better, which is always a good thing for um, when you're on the phone to be able to concentrate on uh, your phone calls. I don't know if you've ever experienced this before, but when you're having, uh, trying to have a conversation with somebody and you hear chatter to the, um, to the side of you, it's very distracting and makes it hard uh, for you to communicate clearly. So being able to have that um, active noise cancellation feature uh, is really nice to help you really concentrate on your calls or your music. Um, this headset's uh, more of a headphone, so it's it's designed for music, and we're gonna do a test and see how well it does for music. Typically with uh, office headsets, um, you typically will not see very good uh, audio quality for music just because they're more focused on uh, you know business communication phone calls, but 
Uh, this particular headset is designed for music and also phone calls. So we're gonna see how well it does on both those here shortly. Hey, if this video is helpful to you at all, please hit that like button right now and also subscribe to our channel as we are constantly putting out new videos of headset reviews. And also we are giving away this product after we're done reviewing it. So go to headsetadvisor.com backslash giveaway and we'll put it up on the screen and in the de description below so that you can get entered. Uh, there's not a lot of people on that list so your chances of winning this product are very good. So do that um, so you can win this uh, headset. It comes in at MSRP of $180, $179.95 I believe. And uh, it, it is a good value. It's not uh, the most premium price product but it is uh, one of the more expensive wired USB headsets in the Plantronics or Poly line. Um, so uh, this also only comes in the dual speaker like you see here because it is designed for music and for audio quality. So uh, you're only gonna find this in the dual speaker version. Um, this has four microphones built in to the speaker housing here. So you're going to, uh, what that does is it helps um, the headset process background noise so that uh, your voice will be heard clearly by the other um, callers on the other end. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna plug this headset into the computer and we are going to do a microphone test and see how well that microphone performs. Because my suspicion is uh, with a headset that does not have a microphone boom, that it will not be able to uh, cancel out as much background noise as, um, for example, the 8225 with acoustic fence. So we're gonna compare it against that and see how well it does. So we're gonna pause the video and we'll be right back. Now we have the 7225 plugged into the computer and we're recording through the voice recorder on our Windows computer. So you can hear my voice coming through the microphones. There's four microphones built into this headset and I'm gonna tap on the headset so you know the mic's uh, active. So uh, you'll be able to pick up the noise coming through the, the microphone on this headset. So uh, what you're looking for on voice quality is for one, how clear you can hear my voice because that's what you can expect somebody to hear on the other end of your phone call. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, play some music in the background um, on my phone so you can get an idea of how well noise cancellation works on this headset. Um, now before I do that though, um, I just want to make a couple mentions about comfort of this headset. Um, just the overall headset feels extremely lightweight. Um, comparing it to others in its class, it definitely feels lighter. And uh, because of this uh, headphone or this um, cushion on the top, you don't feel the band, the metal band on the top um, of the, the headset. So it just feels really lightweight, no pressure really on your ears. And when I played music, uh, the sound quality was phenomenal. Uh, Absolutely uh, very good bass, just good, rich tones when I was listening to music. So I really, really enjoyed that. And that's really the main uh, benefit of this headphone slash headset. It's uh, going to sound really good for your music. So that's really good. But what I'm really curious about is the microphone quality, because that's the biggest um, uh, question that I have about this headset is how well does the built-in microphones work without having a boom next to your mouth. So I'm gonna play some music so you can hear for yourself how it goes. All right, so that is music playing on my phone at maximum volume, and this is a relatively small enclosed office here. Um, so I'm just gonna let it play for a couple more seconds. And what you're looking for is you wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear and not uh, all of the, the music that you hear in the background. So that kind of simulates uh, co-workers talking in the background and you know just other distractions that may be in your environment. And ultimately you want that as much of that noise eliminated as possible. I'm gonna let it play for another second here. And then I'm gonna turn this off so you can hear it without it. Oh, I, apparently I got an ad here. All right, I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, 
So there you have it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to the 8225 headset with the microphone boom so you can compare the two uh, back and forth. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the 8225 plugged into the computer. And if you want to see the in-depth review that I did of this headset, this is the highest end um, professional grade uh, wired headset that Poly sells. Uh, check out the review. I'll put it on a card above and also in the description below. Um, but this has a microphone boom, as you can see here. Um, this is going to uh, position the microphone so it's as close to your mouth as possible and it really helps isolate the noise. But the question is, does it uh, do better than this and how does uh, the sound compare? Um, when I listened back on this headset, it sounded a bit tinny and not uh, professional quality, but we'll see ultimately uh, with this headset how it sounds. This microphone has acoustic fence technology is what Poly or Plantronics calls it, um, which is supposed to remove more unwanted background noise so that whoever you're talking to hears your voice loud and clear and not all the background noise around you. So let's play some music and see how it compares to the 7225. All right. So let me just pull this up. All right. So that's playing in the background now. And as you can see, I have the microphone um, away from the phone here. It's about three or four feet away. It is max volume in this uh, relatively small office here. So just going to play that for a few minutes and what you're looking for is you want to be able to hear my voice clearly and not the music in the background let's let that play for another second here so testing one two three uh, you can tell the microphone is coming through here because when i tap on this microphone very quietly you can hear those tapping um, so that's how you know that the sound's coming through this microphone all right, let me turn this off all right so there you have it. That's how uh, this headset compares to the 7225. And we'll pause and we'll be right back uh, to wrap up this video and give final thoughts. Okay, so after doing uh, the in-depth test, uh, audio test of both these headsets, um, I found that the 7225 um, music quality sounds fantastic. You get good bass, uh, good rich sound. So if you're using this like a headphone listening to music, you're going to have really great audio quality as far as what you hear. As well, you have that active noise cancellation, so you're gonna eliminate a lot of that distraction around you. When it comes to microphone quality, this uh, headset really did not compare to the 8225. Um, the noise uh, reduction was comparable, but the mic quality of the 7225 sounds to me like it's flat, it's missing a uh, rich tone, uh, you're losing a little bit of sound quality, it sounds like you're uh, getting uh, less, you're getting uh, degradation of sound coming out of the microphone of this, whereas the 8225 uh, sounded really crisp, really clear. Between these two units, um, I would definitely choose the microphone of the 8225, hands down, but this is a lot more expensive of a product, so uh, you can uh, take that for what it is. If you really qu uh, value quality of voice, you definitely want to consider the 8225, but the 7225 is good enough for most, especially if you don't have a really noisy environment or you don't um, care as much about the, the voice quality that uh, it, you can obviously still hear the sound, you can hear for yourself, sounds okay, just falls a little flat and not as rich. So that is that. Other than that, I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel as we are constantly giving away uh, you know, products, doing in-depth reviews, comparisons. And if you want to win this product, go to headsetadvisor.com backslash giveaway. We'll put it up on the screen and in the comment section below. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.